Hey Gems, welcome to your love reading July 1st to the 11th for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. <laughs> I can feel you guys asking about the hair. It's in transition. This is not the final color. I'm digging it, but it ain't the final color. I'm trying to go for magenta, but it, it's going to be a transition. But anyway, Geminis, let's talk about you. First of all, oh, Gems, I need you to take a breath. <laughs> Just take a breath. I'm feeling your anxiety. Not all of you have anxiety. It's waves. It's in waves, okay? It's like you're getting waves of emotion and anxiety. It's like it's like that heart fighting the head thing, okay? The twins, some of your twins are fighting each other. But Gemini, I do feel like it's because the energy is at play during this time. So just keep that in mind as well if you're struggling with it. Um, I was getting a lot of lower heart chakra energy coming in. And Gemini's, I think some of you might be having issues between your heart and your solar like bouncing in, in between. Some of you, it's making its way up. Others, it's making its way down. So for some of you, you've had heart chakra stuff and it's making its way into your solar, like clearing, like a clearing of your energy. Others, it's coming up, like from the solar to the heart shark, 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 the shark, heart chakra, excuse me. Um, and I feel like for those who like it's coming up this way, you've had some digestive issues recently. Your stomach just hasn't been super happy. And now it's creeping up into your heart space. OK, and like I said, vice versa for everyone else. And if it's been in the heart space for you, you've had some heart palpitations, chest pain, that sort of thing. Chest tightness, um, going through major mood swings, grief. Right. But I'm feeling that mood swings now. But I feel like it's because it's it's in the lower. So depending on which side you're at. You're in the lower right now. You're in the lower heart chakra, which is actually really pivotal because that's a chakra that actually, I, there's a specific name for it and I, it, it eludes me right now. My apologies. It eludes me at the moment. Um, it connects the upper chakras with the lower chakras. It's very crucial to keep that, that chakra in particular clear, open, and very balanced because it, that is what helps you stay incredibly aligned between the upper and the lowers, okay? Um Gemini's, I, I keep, again, these waves, these waves of, of emotion and anxiety. Uh, it just, it just feels like there's grief that's like buried deep down that's trying really hard to come out, trying really hard to get out of your system. Almost like a detoxing of grief is kind of how it is actually how it's feeling. Um, you know, and there's like a tenderness about it too. I'm, I'm actually getting more downloads about the energy I already picked up on. Um, there's a tenderness trying to come in. It's like, it's, Oh, gems, just surrender. Oh, it's it actually, if you surrender to it, you're going to feel so much better. Some of you are really fighting it because it's like, again, the head versus the heart, right? Like you're trying to be logical about what you're feeling. We can't always be logical about feelings. They're feelings, right? They're not always logical or rational. And especially if you're purging, it's not going to make sense, right? Unless you know exactly what you're trying to see. I'm like, oh my God, I just want to keep my hands like right there. Um, even if you're like not really sure on like what it is you're purging, right? Just surrender to it. It's it's gonna relieve your anxiety if you surrender to it. Okay. Um, in your meditative session, I'm like it's so it's so focused there. I'm trying to pull my focus out of that chakra. It's just I'm feeling it in my own. Um, Gemini's in your meditative session I did see a bear which I thought was really cool and I actually feel like this is representing a person not just an energy for, an energy for you and with bear I mean just as an animal totem it's like they're they're all about like taking the time right when you have bears and animal totem or you start seeing bears or like your guides are showing you bears it's time to take a pause like almost like a hanged man pause it's time to take a pause to build your strength to build your spiritual strength for those who need it. But like I said, it feels like a person. It doesn't necessarily feel like an energy. Um, oh, okay. They're actually showing me a specific card. And this is not a deck I use because I'm still learning it. Um, so it's interesting they're showing me that. Hold on, let me see where, let me pull this out. It's the Lenormand deck. I know, you're like, what is that? <laughs> um, like I said, I haven't used it yet because I'm still learning it myself. The Enchanted uh, Lenormand deck. Um, it's not tarot. Um, for, I guess you can say it's it's more relevant to like gypsy, gypsy culture. Um, but anyway, I've always wanted to learn this deck because not only does it have um, numerology attached to it, it also, it also has cardamancy. Um, and it has these images as well, which is, these are images that are part of Len the Lenormand system. But anyway, neither here nor there. But this is the one they were showing me. This card in particular is actually about protection and strength of will, okay? Oh, I wish it would focus. 
Is my hair too bright? <laughs> there we go. Um, and the Ten of Pentacles right there is actually representative of the Ten of Swords, okay? Um, so this is about experiencing endings and getting rid of that pain. For some of you, you're purging an ending. You're purging grief from an ending. Others, you're just purging some intense ass pain that you really need to get rid of, okay? Um, it's going to make you stronger. Definitely, this is about your spiritual strength. And it is Eclipse Day. Happy Eclipse Day, by the way. Um, by the time you see this, it will be the evening. Um, but actually, it's happening in like an hour, which is really cool. So you guys, I'm actually doing a reading at like a very awesome energetic time for the eclipse. But anyway, um, but like I said, I feel like this is more of a person and it feels such like a great energy and Gemini's and it could be because you're you're adjacent to cancer, but I feel such tenderness trying to seep into your heart space, um, almost like a comforting energy. And I think that's who this bear is to you, whoever this bear is. It could be your mother. It could be a parent. It could be a family member, a friend, a lover. Um, but it's someone who I feel like you feel really safe with, someone who you feel provides some kind of emotional protection or security, like if I have to let this come out, I can I can I can let it come out around my bear. You know, it could even be an earth sign. Bears are very earthy, right? They're very, very stable, which is why they represent strength and protection. Um, but yeah, that's how it's feeling. I feel like if you're around your bear around this time, and I think you're thinking about this bear quite a lot, if even if you're not around them, um, oh, you just it's like I can feel it, Gemini. You just want to like you just want to like crumble and curl up in a ball with your bear. Um, and I think for some of you Geminis, you are really needing that. This is only for some Geminis. I'm feeling like that lack of touch, the lack of physical touch uh, on you. I am feeling that a little bit. Um, the lack, like almost like you've just, it, it's been a while since you've had someone or had the chance, someone or the chance um, to just curl up in someone else's energy that you feel safe with. Ooh, that feels real deep. <laughs> that felt really deep. Anyway, I don't want to get lost in that. We're almost like seven minutes. We haven't gone over the pre-shuffle yet. All right, Geminis, let's go over the pre-shuffle here. So we have the King of Swords, Aquarian energy. Could also be Gemini or Libra. Ten of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy. Page of Pentacles. They're screaming surrender at me, Gemini. Surrender to what you're feeling. I know you're trying to make sense of it. Stop trying to make sense of it. Stop letting it make you anxious. You just got to feel it. And once you like let it out and feel whatever you got to feel or come into whatever tenderness, sweet energy your, your, your soul is trying to come into, you're going to feel a million times better. Two of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. The Fool, Aries energy. Also Aquarian because this is a Uranus card. Got a couple Aqua energies going on here. Then we have the Sun, Leo energy with the Page of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy. Also my pre-Empress card. So I can already see what's going on here. This King of Swords energy, Gemini, regardless if this is you or someone that you're connected with, this could even be a family member, especially attached to the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Could be a father figure of sorts or some kind of masculine senior energy. Either way, whether this is you, a lover, a friend, family member, um, this person has um, family on the brain, heavy, heavy family on the brain, and also heavy um, long-term security. Their ten, their ten of Pentacles, their idea of family, their idea of next five to ten years. Next ten years, more ten. Okay, more like ten years. The next ten years, some of you might even be thinking about retirement, okay? Um, and you're 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 not quite there to your ten, but you know you can be. Whoever the King of Swords is, they know they can be. I do feel like it's you, Gemini, I gotta be honest. So I might be tapping into very masculine dominant Geminis. For those who've been with me for a long time, you know what that means doesn't have to be male or female doesn't have to be male or female their energy is just more masculine than feminine so my more feminine gemini's this will probably be vice versa for you okay but then we have this we've got this page of pentacles with the two of pentacles and the fool i feel an offer from this king an offer from this king to the bear yeah definitely to the bear definitely to the bear um I just, sorry, I'm like, they're giving me the most awesome images of bears, which by the way, I love bears. They're amazing. I like, if you've I've never seen a bear like in person, oh my God, it's an amazing experience. Anyway, um, I feel like this king is making an offer, making an offer of stability. You got a lot of pentacles right here, making an offer of stability and security to their bear, whoever the bear is to you, or if it's you, um, to take a, it's a chance though. It's to take a risk though. It's, it's risky. There's something about this that's risky. 
I'm getting for a multitude of reasons for a lot of you. For some of you, it's because you have a funky history with this person. Others, it's it's like it's just so unexpected. Like the bear is very unexpected of this. Um, and I think it's requiring a lot of change, actually, as well. So what I'm getting, it's requiring a lot of change from both parties to make it happen. But then we have the sun with the page of cups. Oh, please focus. The page of cups and the nine of pentacles in reverse. This is an offer to like, hey, let's partner up. Let's commit. Let's be in this together. You don't got to do this solo. It's it's that kind of energy. But there's such joy. Again, this tenderness, such joy and tenderness around this offer. I'm loving it, Gemini's. Oh, my God, I love it. So whether you're the bear or the king of swords, um, this is a really beautiful offer, I have to say. Uh, oh, oh, that is weird. Oh, look, that just fell out of my hand. It's just, and I think it's because they, they want you to focus on this because I was just about to say, I was just about to say some of you are definitely afraid of not being single. Don't tell me no, because I can feel it. And it's right here in the card. I can feel it. And especially the way that fell, I was about to say, spirit wants you to focus on this. Don't focus on the fear of, I, 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 uh, 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 I need to be single. I need to be single. Don't, don't focus on that shit. Anyone who's got commitment issues here, stop focusing on it because you need to focus on this and the beauty of this offer, the love and the joy. Oh my God, the joy, the joy and the happiness that you can have in this offer, Gemini. If you're the bear or the king of swords, whoever's got this fear of commitment or this fear of like, I've been single. I need to stay single. You, clearly spirit made that happen for a reason. You need to get out of that line of thinking because there's a lot of awesome shit coming in with this offer. Wow. All right, Gemini's. Let's go ahead and get into your reading. Anybody who has any questions, curiosities, or confusions on how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer, go ahead and check out the link below. I know this. <laughs> you should have seen it last night. I actually did diet this morning because I bleached it last night, which was scary as fuck. I have to say, oh my God. I, I don't think I'm ever outside of this like transitionary period because I'm gonna have to bleach it again. Um, I don't think I'm gonna bleach my hair again. That was terrifying. It was. I had so much anxiety the whole time. I was like, I don't know if I should be doing this. Oh, what if my hair falls out? Um, but I'm glad I did. I'm glad I did. Um, it's gonna be an awesome color. I like. I do like it now. I mellowed it out with some dye because it was a little <laughs> rosy gold going on this morning. <laughs> anyway, back to you, guys. Some of you guys are just like asking i can feel it so i just feel like i had to address it any messages for gemini's regarding love july 1st to the 11th any messages for gemini's regarding love july 1st to the 11th yeah gemini's i really feel strongly that the gemini's i'm tapped into are probably a lot a lot of them I think are biological males or just feminines who have a lot of masculine energy or who are harnessing their inner masculine here. Um, it's almost like you feel like your bear is going to be um, a huge crucial point in your 10 of pentacles vision. And it does feel like a vision. You might even have a vision board actually in your room for some of you. Um, like, you know, you can get the 10 without your bear, but you'd rather have your bear with your 10 of pentacles. They just provide such a little comfort zone for you. It's oh, it's really sweet, honestly, Gemini's. It's really sweet. Some of you, I think, have been denying this for a while, and I think all this energy, which is why it's it's coming in waves like that with anxiety, you can't really ignore that anymore. You can't ignore that anymore. Any messages for Gemini's? Especially because for some of you, it's requiring a lot of change to make it happen. Uh, July 2nd to the 11th. All right, that feels good. That feels good. Any messages for Gemini's? Nine of Cups in reverse, Piscean energy. Mm -hmm. I'm getting a lot of overindulgence. Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> for my gems who are really struggling with this anxiety, please be careful. It will, it, it's not only, well, yeah. for some of you, it's pushing you towards overindulgence because you're so stressed out by what you're feeling or trying not to feel. It's more trying not to feel. Um, watch the overeating and the overdrinking. I actually am getting nausea. Like, really watch the overdrinking, okay? Let's see what else we have here. Any messages for Gemini regarding love? July 1st to the 11th. I know it's the 2nd, but you know. <laughs> Ooh. All right, let's see what we got. Ace of Swords. The Sword of Truth and Clarity. Yeah, Gemini's. <laughs> There's no hiding the truth. There's no hiding the truth. 
it's it's open it's out it's out for him. and i feel like it's funny because i feel like the people around you are very aware that you're struggling with something emotionally they might not know all the details but they can tell they can feel it some of them do know about your bear and they're just like it's almost like they're waiting for you to do something about it um now we have the full aries energy aquarian energy which is also uranus this did come on the pre-shuffle it is about that risk the unknown going for it right let's see what else we got any messages for gemini regarding love July 2nd to the 11th. Any other messages for Gemini regarding love? Okay. <laughs> the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy. Will you take the chance? Will you take the leap to not be single anymore? Wow, an overall energy. Oh my God. The Wow, you guys. You saw how I shuffled. I shuffled a lot. I shuffled a lot. I'm amazed. I mean, how many cards do we have in the pre-shuffle? I can't even remember now. Maybe like eight, almost eight or nine. One, two, three, four. Four of them are out. Four of them are out here. Yeah, this is a major offer of love and stability, guys. This is a major offer of love and stability coming from a King of Swords energy to a Bear energy, whether you're the Bear or the King of Swords. Um, let's look at this Nine of Cups, though, in reverse. I'm, I'm really not liking it. By the way, you have two Nines. I just, oh my God. You have two Nines and two Beginner energies. Talk about major cycles. Two Nines on either end, and then you have the Zero Point, the Fool with the Ace, which is a basically a beginning. I'm seeing mirroring, guys. I'm seeing mirroring for those who are looking for that um, confirmation. Anyway, let's get into the Nine of Cups in reverse. Um, I'm going to use Rider Waite to clarify. Uh, some of the, okay, some of, so, okay, the King of Swords, to not confuse anybody, King of Swords energy, the one who's been contemplating this, the one who's making this offer, they're a little disappointed in themselves, is also what I'm getting. A little disappointed in themselves. Talking about Nine of Cups in reverse. For Gemini regarding love, July 2nd to the 11th. Yeah, I really feel like I'm in Gemini masculine energy here because that King of Swords, <laughs> it's almost like they're, they're disappointed in themselves, not because of like the decisions they made, but they're disappointed that they just didn't see that, like they just couldn't put two and two together faster. It feels very Gemini and like I'm smarter than that. <laughs> it's kind of funny. So I have a Nine of Cups in reverse. For Gemini regarding love, July 2nd to the 11th. Okay. Tell me about Nine of Cups in reverse. Tell me about Nine of Cups in reverse. For Gemini regarding love. Come on now. Tell me about Nine of Cups in reverse for Gemini regarding love. Wow. I knew some I knew for some of you something happened. We have the tower in reverse. Um scorpionic energy. Excuse me, could also be Aries because it's Mars influence with the Page of Wands in reverse. Page of Wands in reverse is my bad news card. Yeah, this isn't this is a disappointment. This King of Swords is very disappointed in themselves. And it's around a tower moment that already happened. Like I said, some of you already have a little bit of a funky history with this person, okay? Let's see. What else we got? We're gonna look into that tower because I'm hella nosy and curious. Okay. Talk about Nine of Cups in reverse. Oh, I'm already picking up on another group. Okay. I'm picking up on another group of Geminis. You're realizing that you're needing to make a decision to bring down a tower. And that is making you disappointed. That's kind of bringing down your mood. That's kind of putting you in a bit of a sad space. Because you're realizing it's something you have to do, but you don't really want to do it. Well, you want to do it because you know it's in your best interest, which is the thing I love about Geminis. They make the smartest decisions regardless of the consequences. Sometimes do people get burned? Yes, but it's always the smartest decision that benefits the whole. And the Geminis I'm tapped into, you're realizing you have to do this. And you're like, fuck, I really have to do this. I have to bring down this tower. That's interesting. That's a subgroup that I picked up on. Tell me about the Nine of Cups in reverse. And I feel... Okay more downloads um i do feel like for for that specific group of gemini's i feel like it's more so about like um 
I feel like it's for a group who you haven't known your bear very long. You haven't known your bear very long, okay? Talking about Nine of Cups in reverse for Geminis. Regarding love, July 2nd to the 11th. All right, last card out. Eight of Cups in reverse, Piscean energy. All right, let me try to address all these groups here. So for the first group I was picking up on where you've got a funky history, right? You got a funky history here um, leading to some major disappointment, disappointment in yourself. Again, I'm addressing the King of Swords energy, but there's a returning energy happening. Surprise, surprise, Mercury retrograde in eclipse season, <laughs> Lazarus season, essentially. You're wanting to return. You're wanting to return um, to give this offer after this this tower moment has already happened and I feel like it's an old tower I don't feel like I feel like the dust has cleared already and it's probably you know there's already probably people rebuilding shit around you know it's it's an old tower moment overall energy for the nine of cups in reverse we do have seven of wands leo energy I'm I, it's it's not defensiveness it's not defensiveness but it can it can seem like defensiveness Gemini is again sticking to this specific group you want to go for it. You want your Ten of Pentacles. You want your bear. You want your bear and you're willing to fight for it. And it's it's interesting. You're picking up a little bit of their, like, the animal totem of bear, of protection. Um, you're ready to protect this connection. You're ready to protect what can be, even if it, even if there were actions taking place in the past that went against that. Because you know the truth now. You can see the truth. There's no hiding it anymore. You're also feeling it. You're also feeling it. Um, now, for the group where you don't, you don't, you haven't known your bear that long, um, you're realizing you have to bring down a tower. I don't know what the tower is. Like I said, we'll look into it for that specific group. I don't know what the tower is, but you're realizing, like I said, there's for some of you, there's a lot of change that has to happen. This could just be the major change that you know you have to do in order to get your bear. Okay, but you're having a hard time with the Eight of Cups in reverse. You're having a hard time doing this. You're having a hard time accepting it emotionally. And I think because it is going to change your world. But at the end of the day, you're like, but, it, I, but I know the truth. I know what I have to do. I know what I have to do. And again, fighting for it, that fighting energy. Wow, interesting. All right, let's look at this tower. <laughs> let's look at the tower. Um, oh, I'm so tempted to use the Kipper deck. I'm so tempted. I'm going to do it. <laughs> why not i'm gonna do it i'm feeling sassy feeling feisty okay tell me about the tower in reverse for gemini's regarding love july 2nd to the 11th what is this tower moment what was and or will be this tower moment <laughs> marriage oh boy Ooh, oh i got the chills really strong on that um for those where you have to bring down the tower, you might be realizing you have to leave a partnership. You might not necessarily be married, but you like you might consider them or people might consider you guys to be basically married or like maybe you live together. Maybe you practically live together. Um, a long term partnership. It's not just like a, we've been together for two months, you know. Um, I really feel strongly that's for the group that you need to bring the tower down. No wonder that's hard. That's hard. That's hard. And for those where the tower already fell, it definitely seems like there was a very, very close bond, a very, very close um, union of sorts. That's interesting. They said of sorts to me. So varying, varying relationships there. Um, anyway, let's keep it going. Tell me about the tower in reverse. Tell me about the tower in reverse for Gemini's. Wow imprisonment 29 breaking down to an 11 wow yeah some of you have to bring down this tower the ones who would like need to because they haven't known their bear that long and they want their bear um you're in a very very um oppressive uh partnership is what it's feeling sorry just gotta ca call in the spade a spade <laughs> okay um yeah it feels like a very oppressive uh relationship partnership and it's just it's draining you uh you just don't have the freedom you you need or you want. Like Gemini's need freedom. They do need a sense of freedom. They they can't. They're air. I mean, you know, you're air. You can't feel restricted, and you're feeling restricted. Um, for those where the tower was brought down, um, there was a sense. I, I'm actually getting a lot of fear, where there was already a tower moment. I'm getting a lot of fear around a union. A lot of fear around a union. 
What is this fear? What is this fear? I'm just getting, they're just telling me fear. Probably fear of all different kinds of things. Whoa. Okay. Community, 39, breaking down to a three. So family, social network, um, a, you know, literally a neighborhood. I'm getting obligation. For those where the tower was brought down, um, I think for some there was a pressure by your social network or your family to get away from this person. Um, and you're realizing that was a mistake. For those where you have to bring the tower down, you might feel very obligated because maybe your family really wants you to stay with this person. You know, or you're worried about how people will respond if you leave or if you bring that tower down. Let's see what else we got and we'll move on. Tell me more about the tower. Yeah, you're worried. Tell me more about the tower. Let's see what we have here. Oh, oh, oh my. <laughs> Oh my. We now have concern, great fortune, and family room. Family room is usually about family matters, but it actually acts as a timeline card more than anything. Um, it's a, a 24 hours to a month out of the time that you see this, okay? <laughs> um, Gemini's slash King of Swords. Um, you're really, really concerned, okay? You're really, really concerned. For those who need to bring the tower down, I think you're worried that you might lose out on some money here. You might lose out on some money and some st support. I just heard support. You're gonna, you're worried you're gonna lose out on support probably from your family, okay? Or your social network. Um, and we're also getting that for a couple of you, that is financial support. Um, for those where the tower is already brought down, um, there's a lot of, con there's a lot of concern. Um, about gaining this fortune. And fortune doesn't always have to be money. It can also be like 10 of pentacles. It can just be security. It could just be full fulfillment, right? Feeling rich in something, feeling wealthy in something, feeling very fortunate. For those where the tower was already brought down, it's like, damn, my bear brought me a lot of happiness. My bear, my bear brought me a lot of fulfillment in a lot of aspects of my life. And on the bottom, are you guys ready? Oh my God. Yeah, we have privileged lady and sudden wealth. Um, oh, Gemini's. <laughs> um, some of you, this is your bear. And yeah, that would definitely be security. <laughs> Privileged lady is someone who's usually wealthy or someone who has a lot of resources, someone who can basically stand on their own, do battle by themselves. Very empress like, okay? Um, but with sudden wealth, that is definitely indicating to me that there's something about this bear that will provide a lot of reassurance and security and support and stability. Okay, and others, this is this is someone that you're actually trying to, um, to and for, the, for those who are bringing the tower down, this is who you're trying to get out of or get away from, which is why you are concerned about losing money. Wow. Okay, that was intense. Oh my God, are we seriously at 28 minutes? <laughs> okay. Um, I didn't mean to like, you guys always get me talking so much, Geminis. Anyway, y'all know the truth, King of Swords. And you want to take the sleep of faith with your bear. And you are going to ask your bear to take the sleep of faith with you out of, you know, singlehood, so to speak. There, Someone is definitely afraid of, of not being single. Someone is seriously afraid of commitment. And it's it's kind of funny because I feel like it's more of the dominant feminine energy here, which I know is not typical, right? But I'm just getting in like a, I don't know if I could do that. <laughs> That's kind of what I'm getting. I don't know if I could go there. Um, but let's look at the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, okay? Um, I'm gonna, oh, actually, I'm gonna use Gilded for this one. And guys, I just replaced my Gilded. Oh my God, I love it. I opened it and I prepped it this morning. There's nothing like a new deck, especially when it's one that you really love. So I have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. First Gemini. Although they are hard to shuffle. Tell me about Nine of Pentacles in reverse for Gemini. Regarding love. July, July 2nd to the 11th. By the way, I'm hearing some of y'all talk shit. If I talk too much for you, you don't gotta watch me. Okay? Okay. Tell me about Nine of Pentacles in reverse. For Gemini, regarding love, July 2nd to the 11th. Tell me about Nine of Pentacles in reverse for Gemini, regarding love, July 2nd to the 11th. Tell me about Nine of Pentacles in reverse for Gemini, 
regarding love. Am I taking these? These are a lot. Yes, I'm taking these. Oh my God, it's so many. Oh, oh my. We have Ten of Cups, <laughs> Piscean energy. Ten of Swords, Gemini energy. Nine of Wands in reverse, a Sagittarian energy. Could also be Aries or Leo. Three of Pentacles in reverse, Capricorn energy. With the King of Swords in reverse, though, Aquarian energy could also be Gemini or Libra. Page of Swords in reverse. And then we have Queen of Wands. I'm feeling the bear. Feeling the bear here. Aries energy could also be fire or water. Whoa. Whoa. Gems. <laughs> this feels really strange. Um, so as an empath, I feel all kinds of shit from people. This, this is, this is, a, I, I'm sorry, I'm like, now I'm all flustered. I just have like a rush of sexual energy through my sacral. But it's very specifically masculine sexual energy for feminine energy. So it's, it just feels weird. It just feels weird. Um, you are incredibly attracted to this bear. Like, incredibly attracted to this bear. If, okay, if this bear is a woman for you, uh, I'm just getting that it's like, they, they're probably very voluptuous. Like, they're probably very curvy. I'm just like, you just like to look. I'm just like, <laughs> it's, sorry, I'm trying not to get stuck in it. It's actually making me blush a little bit. Um, And, you know, if this bear is a man for you, they're probably very manly, right? They're probably very bear-like. They're probably, you know, probably got like a lot of chest hair or something going on or probably something very like, I, I'm just, I don't know why I'm getting hair for like for the men bears here but that is kind of what I'm getting or like if they don't have like a lot of hair like on the body they probably have um a lot of facial hair or like longer hair bushier hair um but I'm just whoa the sexual energy is really intense okay I need to get out of that because that's incredibly distracting um let's get more cards out here and then we'll get into it that sexual energy was really overwhelming tell me about nine of pentacles in reverse Oh, I love the King of Cups. All right. Tell me about Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Tell me about Nine of Pentacles in reverse. For Geminis regarding love. All right. Nice. Ending on the King of Cups. Scorpionic energy could also be water or air. Oh, oh, that tenderness is coming in again. I love that. I love it. Overall energy for the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, we have Two of Swords in reverse, Moon and Libra energy to be specific, okay? This is making a very clear-headed decision. Having all the information, having all the puzzle pieces, and knowing exactly what decision to make because of it. Now, what's really interesting to me is that the first two clarifiers for the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, we have Ten of Cups and Ten of Swords. I'm feeling a transition. I'm not feeling an ending of happiness at all. I'm actually feeling a transition from the Ten of Swords to the Ten of Cups. Oh, and I just realized, where's that bear card? Didn't I just have it? Oh my god, where's that bear card? I swore I just had it. That's weird. How did it make its way back all the way into the deck? That's weird. It was not at the ends because I just pulled it out and I swore I just... Okay, weird. Whatever. That was weird. Whatever. So the bear has the ten of swords, right? Has the ten of swords to the ten of cups. This person it's like they transform your pain it's really beautiful I would I wouldn't be surprised if they're a healer of sorts or if they have a lot of water in their chart Gemini's because they literally take your ten of swords and make you feel so much more emotionally supported comforted secure and safe they bring you the ten that ten of swords is attached to the bear because it's comforting you out of that pain and out of that ending that you're gonna that you're going through. For some of you, this ending was an ending that took place between you and the bear. Like I said, some of y'all shit went down, right? But for those where you're bringing the tower down because you know you have to leave a situation where you're feeling oppressed, you're carrying ten of swords with you as pain, and your bear is gonna help transform that ten to the ten of cups. That's beautiful. Oh my god, I love that. I love that. All right, let's get into the next line. Knight of Wands in reverse, three of pentacles. I almost said three of cups. Three of pentacles in reverse with the king of swords in reverse. Oh, I'm not liking this energy. King of swords, gems, I gotta be honest. I'm not really liking it. Um, I'm just getting a lot of instability. I'm getting a lot of instability. Um, like hard to find your footing. And I feel like it's while you're in the ten of swords energy, which is why you're. it's like you're being prompted to go to the bear so intensely. And for some of you back to the bear, Mm. something hasn't been working 
for those where you're stuck in a situation that you need to leave and actually for both groups for both groups it's like whatever period you're coming out of gemini's it's really unstable um and it's been really like wreaking havoc on your mind your mental space it's i think you've been struggling to not be depressed you've been struggling to not be depressed some of you are doing a good job at fighting it but it's there like i can feel remnants of it and for others it's like you're you're struggling so much that it's like i have to get to my bear otherwise i don't know what the hell's gonna happen to me you know it's a spectrum it's a spectrum of energy i'm also getting a little bit of um denial actually which is interesting some of you have lived in denial in the current situation you're in. Again, for some of you, that's being separated from your bear. Others, it's because you're in an oppressed partnership, relationship, situation. And you've been in denial to try to get through it. But you can't deny anymore. You can't deny anymore. And then we have Page of Swords in Reverse with the Queen of Wands and the King of Cups. King of Swords is coming now through as a King of Cups, that a little bit of that transformative energy. I feel like there's going to be a major conversation here. I don't think it's going to be handled appropriately, though. I got to be honest, Gemini's. I'm feeling that really strong. I don't think it's going to be handled appropriately. Uh, I think it's going to be like a little sporadic, a little bit of word vomiting going on because you're reaching such a breaking point, Gemini's. But yeah, because you're reaching such a breaking point um, and you're so attracted to this bear. It's ridiculous. Um so attracted to this bear that it's just like you just can't help yourself that's interesting yeah you just can't help yourself so it's not going to go about the best way communicatively um and for those where you've had a tumultuous past i do think there was some lying going on i do think there was some lying going on um because of whatever outside pressures you were feeling with your social network or your family or coworkers. if this is all work related doesn't seem like it is um if it is work related you're basically going from a really hostile work environment to a really nourishing work environment okay like your dream job anyway gems um yeah for those who have a history with this bear there's definitely been some some lying and some deceit i can feel it i can feel it, it feels a little self sabotagery but anyway there's love here you've got a lot of love for your bear now will they say yes I can't say that as of right now. I can't say that with the way these cards are. And I feel like if there were to be an answer, it probably wouldn't come until full moon time or a little later in the month, okay? Let's get some advice for you and then we'll wrap it up. Seriously, guys, 37 minutes? You guys made me talk so much. Okay. It, it's really beautiful, though. Oh, my God. Like, someone who can transform 10 of swords energy to a 10 of cups... That's an impressive person, I have to say. Any advice for my Geminis? Any advice for my Geminis regarding this spread? Any advice for my Geminis regarding this spread? I feel like... So <laughs> All right, guys, look. I know, I know, I know. My, my my feminine dominant people are screaming at me. Guys, oh, focus. I know you want to hear more about you specifically. I am the messenger. I can't control what I get. I can't control what I get. I get what I get. I am just a messenger. There's, and I do feel like there's a reason this has been happening. And I feel like it's to give you guys a lot more insight into what's coming for you. Okay. Because this is regarding you. This is all regarding you. It's just from the perspective of the other side of the table. That's the best way to get a lot of insight if you really think about it. Walk a, walk a mile in someone else's shoes. Right. I know you want to hear more about you. But honestly, bears, my bears. You feel like you're, I feel like you're in really good standing. Just intuitively what I get off of you. Yeah, I like, I feel like you're just genuinely content. I don't feel like you have crazy shit happening. Oh, oh fam okay, I just heard family. So maybe you got some crazy family shit going down. It is that time for this eclipse energy. That is very indicative of that to happen. But outside of that, you're in a much better spot than this king of swords. Okay, I'll put it that way. I'm just the messenger. I could make up a story, but that would take actually a lot more time because this is just facts of what I'm given. Anyway, any advice for my Geminis regarding this spread? Any advice for my Geminis regarding this spread? 
And for my patrons and the partner reading, more likely than not, the bear is gonna probably dominate that reading. That tends to happen. Like if a reading I do is like more so about the other person and I try to do the opposite, then the, the other person comes through. Any advice for my Geminis regarding this spread? Oh, oh, that's a lot. How many is that? I can't see them yet. That's one, two, three, four. Mm. All right, I'm taking them, I'm taking them. Let's see what we have. Dear spirit, oh, what did I say about tenderness? Bring a gentle touch. 18 breaking down to a nine. Turtle spirit, slow and steady wins the race. 62 breaking down to an eight. Oh, I love this card. Otter spirit, you are never alone. This is so you and your bear. It's not even funny. Uh, 42 breaking down to a six. This is, a, this is my designated soul connection card in this deck. I've only got one for a soul connection and this is it. This has been coming out a lot for people around this time. People keep saying it is going to be the summer of love, especially July, the month of July. Oh man, that connection. I'm just, it's, it's almost too sweet. It's almost too sweet. Uh, butterfly spirit. Transformation is beautiful with the energy of 11. And then we have squirrel spirit. Believe in yourself. 57 breaking down to a three. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Let me finish my method and see if we get anything else. I mean, I'm not surprised we got a lot of advice for you, Geminis. I felt those waves of anxiety. Um, but let's see what else we got. Then we'll get into it. Any other advice for my Geminis? Any other advice for my Geminis regarding this spread? Patience, 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 Gemini. Be patient with yourself. Be patient with yourself. Um, any other advice for Geminis? All right. Oh, awesome. Okay. Last card out. Bats. Bat spirit, a rebirth is assured with the energy of five. Not surprised we got a five. I'm actually more surprised we didn't have more fives come out here um, for this change and transformation uh, going on in your life, Geminis. But let's get into this advice. These two cards definitely go hand in hand. This is about that tenderness. Be patient with yourself, Gemini, in feeling this tenderness. I know you get anxious. I know you're getting anxious with these waves and some of you are having intense mood swings. Be patient, okay? And let this tenderness come in. It's supposed to come in for a reason. It's supposed to come in for a reason. It's leading to an eight vibration, which is why the tenderness is associated with completion, right? This is this tenderness coming in is closing out a cycle for you, Gemini. A painful, a painful ten of swords cycle. It's closing that out for you. Let it happen. Let it happen in a natural way. Don't fight it. Just let it happen and it'll lead you to success with that vibration of eight. It will lead you to a more stable place, a place where you feel more um, abundant and more prosperous, okay? You and your bear. I'm so, I'm like, oh my God, you and your bear. This is so fucking cute. Um, anyway, with the way you guys are nuzzling in that picture, it's just so adorable. Anyway, this is very much a kindred spirit. Like I said, you feel very safe with this person. Look at how they're nuzzling. And if any of you know anything about otters, I'm such a nerd. It's ridiculous. I love otters. I actually, um, a few years ago, I intentionally, I knew like, you know, during October fall season in Monterey Bay, for anybody who's never been to California, check out Monterey Bay in the fall, specifically October. The otters are crazy out during that time. And I think they only do like one or two tours, like every once in a while. And I finally made one. Oh my God. You're just sitting in the boat and it's like otters are everywhere, cuddled up together, like sleeping together like that. Like that's you and your bear. That's you and your bear. Like you want to be like, I feel like some of you just want to be physically attached to your bear at all times <laughs> just because their energy is so feels so nourishing and healing for you. That's that. Yeah, that's what that is. Anyway, let's get into this butterfly squirrel energy. You can do this, Gemini's my, my king of swords that I'm talking to. You can do this. You just got to have the confidence and the patience to let to let yourself feel shit. Some of you are going to be going through a heart shocker opening. Sorry. I know it's I know it's a rough one, but some of you will be. Let it happen. Be patient with yourself. And as you're going through it, just know that it's leading you closer to your bear and where you need to be, okay? You can make this happen. And especially those who have to bring down the tower to leave a situation, you can do it. I know it sucks. And I know you're also hurting because of it. It's not an easy decision for you to make, but you know it's the right one. You just got to have the courage to do it because look at what it's going to do for you. I feel, especially for that group, I'm all of a sudden I'm getting a little bit of a spiritual rising. I don't know how else to say that happening. Like I'm actually seeing like the, 
like your uh the, your own frequency like if you ever like look at frequency and like wavelengths right it's like you can tell the difference it's increasing your frequency your frequency is raising um by allowing this to happen and to go towards your bear and leaving this situation definitely leaving this situation whatever environment you're in has been stifling it's been holding you back some of you i know didn't want to hear that because you've been in denial about it um but yeah your environment has been seriously holding some of you back and you'll you'll know who you are if that's resonating with you it's your environment or the people in it um now we have a rebirth you will be reborn gemini's my king of swords you will be reborn because this is some awesome ass energy and you're gonna be reborn into this look how fucking beautiful that is not to mention doesn't butterfly just scream gemini doesn't it with the symmetry of the wings you can say twins right the symmetry of the wings it is the butterfly it does take flight it is airy it is also about intuition very gemini and not to mention 11 right um yeah gemini's i love this and overall overall advice owl spirit 43 breaking down to a seven being on your path you see clearly now yes you do <laughs> oh yes you do you can't ignore your intuition you can't you can't unsee what you've seen you can't unhear what you've heard you can't unknow what you know and you there's no running from it anymore there's no hiding from it because like i said some of you have been in denial denial why did that sound weird denial um you know exactly where you're supposed to be and it's just about making the moves to make it happen and having the courage to do it to be with her bear I, ah, okay you guys have to comment below about your bear because this connection is like actually just cute. Like it's not even, I mean, there's sexual, the sexual attraction is like ridiculously off the chain. Um, and there is such a deeply just cute. <laughs> Please comment below about that. Anyway, gems, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to go on uh, Patreon, check that out. And don't forget to look at Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And I will see you guys later. What time is it? 10 minutes till the eclipse. Hope you guys enjoy it. I'm going to go do my little eclipse ritual. I will see you guys later. Namaste, Geminis.